Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 5th going into the 6th of November, a Tuesday going into a Wednesday out here in the Western Pacific. And we are continuing to watch Typhoon Haiyan or Yolanda pulling off here towards the west and really a rapidly intensifying storm system. Also being called a severe tropical storm as of making this update, at least by JMA, but I do expect them to intensify into a typhoon here in the very near future. I mean, we just see that eye in the center of circulation on the enhanced IRF scroll down here, also here, and even into the water vapor, that center of circulation become more exposed, and we're seeing a rapidly intensifying storm system. So a typhoon out here towards the east of Yap and Palau. You're going to be impacted going into Wednesday night, and then out there towards the Philippines. The main topic for today is um, as far as the Philippines is the lack of warnings and I did see some posts put out uh, just in the last few hours Pegas actually coming out and saying yeah signal force 4 could be raised but um, I, I totally do not agree with the outside of Philippine um, area of responsibility deal um, I think that if it's entering the P Philippine area of responsibility you know it's coming and everywhere else in the world knows the US military Japan Taiwan Korea seems like everybody else is warning on this outside of Bagasa. As of today, there's no storms inside the Philippine area responsibility. They do say it will enter by Thursday morning. Once it hits the 135 degree mark, which is just towards the, right around Palau actually, 135 degrees, and that would only give about a 24 hour warning, or at least a 24 hour advisory um, on the track here before that storm system makes landfall. So I think that's really silly. It should be up now, um, especially for people who do not have access to internet and international media. Um, for some of these warnings just my thought off my soapbox where is this storm system going to be impacting well of course first yap and plow we could be seeing some typhoon strength winds out here waves up to about three to six meters high not to mention about 150 millimeters of rainfall typhoon watches right now are in effect there in yap and over towards plow as the storm does track overhead expecting it to be right around a possibly about a category two uh approaching category three typhoon as it does push overhead the worst of the weather will be on the southern periphery freeze of Yap here as it does push down there towards the south. That's where the highest risk of storm surge will be. But also in northern portions of Palau, you're going to see those winds wrap around and push on shore there as well. Will it be as bad as Bofa? Not nearly as much unless this wavers down towards the south, but it's still going to be some rough weather out here going through the day on Wednesday night into early Thursday morning as the storm pushes there towards the south, or towards the north, excuse me, and then off there towards the west. But really, um, it's going to be still developing here. Yes, there's going to be some rough weather. If you're in Yap, do stay indoors. Stay prepared for this one. It's going to cause potentially some damage out here. But as long as everybody stays in higher elevations away from coastal areas, it should be okay. The biggest threat as I've been saying, is the Philippines. And the really model guidance is in tight agreement. I've seen some things saying there's still long range, potentially can move north or south, but I have high confidence right now that Samar, Lette, and Southern Luzon, this area right in here, basically right through here, one of this regions is going to be seeing the right front quadrant of a very violent typhoon. And like I said, Pagasa did go ahead and at least he told ABS-CBN earlier on today, Signal Force 4 will likely be raised out here. Also looking at the very high risk of a storm surge, damaging winds, and heavy rainfall. And that's going to be a major threat. Let's take a look at the GFS outlook here. And let's scroll ahead. Um, scrolling out towards, a little bit too far there, towards um friday right around noontime with the storm system making landfall here right along the southern edge of samar over towards let day that right front quadrant that's going to push on shore remember there's some mountains right in here it's very prone to landslide and the problem is that moisture is going to continue to push on shore and this is going to be seeing some staggering amounts of rainfall i think that some areas of Samar and even out there towards southern portions of Zon could be seeing over three to four hundred millimeters even higher than that potentially but this image right here is just showing a very dangerous storm system and if this holds true we're going to be looking at a very serious risk of the loss of life out here if people do not take proper precautions and do not evacuate ahead of the storm system there on samar and then even ahead farther let's take a look out towards basically friday right around midnight this moves around southern luzon north of cebu cebu you should miss the worst of it 
but um, you're still going to be seeing some rough weather. And even over towards Ilio, um, Weather Castro Donis is out there, and he's going to be getting ready for this as well. And definitely tropical storm strength winds at the very least, but the heavy rainfall. Let's take a look at the precipitation for the same time period. Much of the central portions of the Philippines are just under some torrential amount of rains. So Manila, you should be missing the worst of it, but tropical storm strength and rain showers, at least at this time, this is still about four days out. Um, exact forecast for Manila really depends on how much this gets disrupted as it pushes over the islands there. But I think tropical storm strength winds are very well going to be likely. So you really just want to batten down the hatches. But the worst of the weather farther here towards the east. Showed you the ECMWF, the GFS, and NAVGEM. Everybody's in agreement of this making landfall right around Samar and Let Day. We've been saying it for several days now. And very high confidence. It's just the steering flow out here. The high pressure ridge towards them is dominating. And it's not going to be letting loose anytime soon. If you're in Taiwan or southern Japan, you don't want to worry about this at all. It's basically... The central Philippines, pushing off here towards the west and right along northern Mindanao, let day uh, Samar. I mean, the right front quadrant of this is going to be the worst of the storm. So with that said, everybody, please share this video out. Um, share out our latest updates. We put out an update specifically for Yap and Plow and then another one later on for Visayas and much of the Philippines. And I know I went on a soapbox earlier, but it just really frustrates me. And I hope, and the good news is I have seen a lot of local media in the Philippines saying we're not waiting for Pegasa to go ahead and do this. They are using JTWC and JMA's forecast and just putting out the information. Because if you remember last year, Typhoon Bofo, when that came ashore, we had less than 48 hours of those official tracks from Bagasa, and um, that resulted in 2,000 deaths. I'm not saying this is going to happen again, but I, I think that that was a wake-up call, at least hopefully, and it looks like, as far as the media is concerned and a lot of the agencies, those evacuations are already being put in place for people in low-lying areas. So stay safe out there, everybody, and thanks again for watching here.